Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Empire Gaming Channel. I'm AJ Gels. Guys, I'm I'm switching up what I a little bit with what I said I was doing uh, over on Twitter earlier. Or, well, I guess it was last night at like midnight. I I don't freaking remember. How's it going? I'm back. I'm not dead. <laughs> I uh, I finished up my exams, came home, um, decided to spend yesterday, uh, you know, uh, just with the family. Didn't set up my new my temporary studio. Uh, here at my new home base, I then got up this morning at noon because you know I'm a lazy piece of shit, and then set up everything, and then spent hours trying to get all my um, all my software working. My software was being, was bugging out and being weird. Um, I tried to do the Last of Us Part Two panel earlier today. Got about 40 minutes in and realized I had recorded no sound of any of the videos. So. I'm about to eat dinner. I'm tired. I'm not about to, you know what I mean. I'm just I'm beat. If you can't tell, I'm, my brain is fried right now with the fact that I can't. I'm I'm worse than usual about staying in a straight line. So uh, we're actually going to watch uh, the Fee PSX 2017 gameplay demo. Have some fun with this. And tomorrow we're gonna hit the ground running. Uh, games. Uh, I'm gonna do that pan. I'm gonna do the Last of Us Part Two panel. I'm gonna do the weekly show. Drunk multiplayer tomorrow night. Tons of stuff. But this is what we're going to do tonight. And like I said, tomorrow we're hitting the ground running. Uh, if you've not heard of Fee, it's this... I remember seeing it, something about it. I want to say at PSX or at E3 a year or so ago. Um, it's this interesting game. It has to do with the sound. It's a very uh, stylized art. Everything. Uh, I almost said stylized art style, and that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Let's let's get into it. I'm sure they'll describe what Fee is. Back to uh, PlayStation Livecast here, joined by Justin, Klaus Lingelit, and Alex. We're going to be here, and we're going to talk about Fea. Oh, Fea. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought it was Fee. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be nice here. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were talking about this before. Yeah. It's like some people have heard Fee. Some people say I was like, no, no, it's Fey. Yeah. It's got to be Fey, right? Well, we're both wrong. Well, it's Swedish. It's not do easy. Know, do you want to say the way you say it? Fea. 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 Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh, really? All right, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, okay. So the, just the way they were saying it makes it sound like Fee, but whatever. So Fea, I apologize. So tell us a little bit about how this game came, about, came to be. Uh, how it came to be? Uh, well, it's actually it's a very old project that uh, I mean we we, uh, we had the studio for a long time. It's called Zoink. We're in Sweden, and uh, me and Alexander, uh, uh, no, me and Andreas was talking about the game like five years ago that uh, he really wanted to do something that was relaxing to play, and uh, I always wanted to do a 3D game, a full 3D game again. We haven't done that for a while, and I thought we're going to do it. We're going to find a style that just that we can work with that's really amazing, that looks interesting, and so we started prototyping all these different things and. And uh, just one thing led to another, and we worked on it a little bit here, a little bit there, and it sort of moved forward. And um, then, yeah, then one day we, we pitched it to EA, and everything went really well. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, so we actually have some live gameplay that Alex is going to be sharing with us. So why yeah. don't we go ahead and get that started, and yeah. you kind of talk us through what's yeah, going on. Yeah, sure. It's our world premiere. Yeah, it's really, let's see if it uh, starts up. Oh, okay. Put the controller on there. Uh, That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes okay, so yeah, it it's takes gonna take it's gonna take a minute to, to load up here. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Justin, what were your first thoughts about seeing it? The, the well, this was a uh, uh, this was announced uh, during E3, right? That's true. Yeah, at I EA Play, I think. Yeah, yeah, and this yeah. was one of the big highlights that people took out of that. There were so many big things that happened there, and one of the things I saw people talking the most about coming out of it was. Fea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I got it. Um, what was your reaction to that? What, what did that feel like to be up with all these titans on, on um, the stage there and for your game to be what people took away from it? Well, I mean, it's also the thing was I got to know about that I had to go up on stage like three weeks before or something like that. It's like, <laughs> you should go up and do that. And it's like, wow, really? Um, yeah, I mean, here's the game. And um, I just want to point out that the game like this is actually kind of how the game starts uh, in the final version too. It's really about the game is really about exploration. It's very important to us that it's uh, just dive into this world that you don't really know what it is. You don't really know who you are actually, uh, and you just sort of wake up there and and this is the character called Faye. Yeah. Now I decided to follow this little deer here. Yeah. You so what kind of character is it? Because I've heard different I things. Know. A little woodland creature. Uh, yeah, that. I'm gonna explain it because basically um, Faye actually means fairy in Swedish. Huh. And I thought I wanted to pick something that just felt really sort of Nordic and weird and then, yeah. you know, mystical. There's and been a lot of discussion about that. Like, is it iron? Is it what does it mean? But yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a character, and it is uh, this little character that 
uh, just up a little bit there. Oh yeah. To kind of show you. Um, but but basically, um, the character uses this song in the game, which is really amazing. Um, that you can, with the analog trigger, you actually control the way you're singing in the game. Ah. Yeah. Um, so really, if you d just touch it a little bit, it's cute <laughs> like this. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Do people in your office keep just doing that? You're like, ah. Yeah, yeah. We have actually voice actors coming in, and they're like weird sounds <laughs> in the music yeah. studio. Yeah. Every day for a while, it's so like people screaming and screeching and <laughs> howling. That is there's the not a lot of howl. yeah. There's not a lot of dialogue in it, but this you do communicate with the environment through all these different cries. Yeah, and you can see while well, while well, Alexander here is uh, talking to the environment, you can see how it sort of reacts. So like every plant uh, uh, that you see will actually sort of move and, and, and react to this. And it comes almost like a little musical instrument yeah. in a way. Um, and you can actually talk to any kind of animal you find in the, in the world uh, and communicate with them through this kind of weird song. Is that kind of the core gameplay mechanic is going that to is the befriending core. these animals? Yes, definitely, yeah. It's about going out there and using songs as a sort of like a language to nature, basically. A simplified na uh, language. You can see here there's this uh, really strange flower here, who's a little bit more intelligent than the other ones, as it's looking at you. And uh, if we try to talk to this, uh, you sort of connect to it. And if you find the right tone, tune with it, or harmonize with it, you go. sort of, you know, you open it up like this. Wow. See, when I, f when I first saw this game, it, it wasn't 2017 E3. This was 2016 E3 when I first saw this. This was the thing that really got me. Uh, I, I I'm a I'm a musician at heart. Uh, I I played. I was in band all through high school, middle school, uh, and a little bit in college. I love music and I love sound and everything. And I usually I'm not into games that don't have voice casts. Uh, Legend of Zelda. I'm looking at you. That was my big thing with that with that franchise for the longest time. I just I I just couldn't stand just reading all the time when I was a kid. But that's because I was. You know, I'm 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 lazy piece of shit now. I was a lazy piece of shit back then. <laughs> but it, it, this is what I really liked about this game. I found it so interesting that it's it, it's not just sounds and like oh well we just didn't get a voice cast. No, like this is actually the point of this uh, that we're going for this communicate. This is communication through sounds, but it's not just random sounds. Like the sounds mean something, and they, they it forms its own language. It's almost like music in a way. I know I'm rambling again. Like I said earlier, I'm not in a right mind right now, but. <laughs> He does all the sounds and all, this, all the music. And yeah, everything. and he's bringing out these amazing uh, musicians who are doing uh, all the live recording in our studio. So we hear like the violins and everything in the office. It's super nice. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, so the flower here opened up these little platforms we can move forward. So it's about connecting to the environment and seeing how it actually helps you forward. Figuring out how this sort of like mini ecosystem is working. Um, so There's like mini puzzles within the game to get you to the next portion. Kind of, yeah, but it's very open also. Um, you can see here, if you talk to this flower, it, this one doesn't really react positively. So we're gonna, and we don't want to handheld people too much. We really want people to go out there and, and find their own ways to find out how, to, how does this actually really work. Um, so, yeah. Because there's not a lot of, you know, on-screen prompts or no. tutorials to go through. It's kind of just like, yeah. put you in the world, let you discover where it's going. Yeah, we've really been trying to work hard with, like, thinking a natural... So if you hear that, my mom's cooking, and that is the smoke alarm. <laughs> um, no, again, what I, usually again, and something else I'm not a, usually a big fan of is games that that don't tell you where to go. Don't kind of get. I, I don't like necessarily having my handheld persona. I mean, I, I I love the franchise, but God, they they hold your hand for so long in that game. But at the same, I'm not going to go into that right now. I I, I could completely tangent. Talk to me in the comments if you want to hear my, my thoughts on that. But I I think this is the kind of game that a that not really doing a big tutorial, not really big doing much of that actually really works uh, works in its favor. A way to teach people how to do it without throwing up do this, do that, you know. Yeah. It has to feel really organic. And I found the deer. You found the deer. Following so before. you know of course if you've ever looked, petted a dog or something like that, if you had to go out to a dog you don't know do really calm sounds. If you scream at it like this, of course. Run away. You know? <laughs> that was a bad. 
So this is, a, this is a way to use the musical or the, the song system where if you use like really soft sounds, well, oh, see if you can right get it way. back now. Try to, try, back. To, yeah, try to be really calm with the sounds. I, know, I love the image of this little character just sprinting through the forest, <laughs> howling at this deer. Yeah, so now it's interested. And then, of course, we can sort of connect to it and harmonize with it. Now we're friends. Now we're friends, yeah. I <laughs> love make the art style. Life. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Your amazing singing voice. <laughs> You're in karaoke. There's a lot of really nice, dark, black depths of shadow uh, yeah. in there. Yeah, we, we Makes everything pop. Right, exactly. We tried to find a... Um, I mean, obviously we're a small team, uh, but a small team can still do something really beautiful if you if you pick a style that really fits you and works with you. And also, I mean, it also it's nice to have something that's kind of simplified for the eye, I think, you know. Um, so this little deer is following us around now. And as you can see, it's very interested in you. And this is kind of cool about it. This deer can actually sing to these flowers, these draft uh. flowers, and then help you move forward. Into so, so it's not only you who has this uh, singing sort of um, language. It's also the different animals have different songs they can sing with to the nature. Do you ever get to a point where you're like kind of harmonizing with various animals and that changes the way that the song sounds? Yeah. Uh, I might want to show you a part of that actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a owl flying around up there uh, at the top. And if you try to sing with this one right now, it might not be interesting. You can try to see. Oh, he flo flew, it flew away. out. <laughs> 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 anyway. He had his own uh, plans. <laughs> yeah, the owl might maybe not be interested in you right now because you don't know its language. Uh, but later on, we will learn to speak to this owl and have it. I'll show that a little bit later in the game. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about the world is that we sort of built it in a Metroidvania style that um, if you look up uh, at the waterfall there, for example, um, you see there's more of these draft flowers there, but I can't actually get up there right now. I have to figure out a way to get up there, and I don't know that right now, so I have to return there later. But even if I get up there, I might not be able to actually talk to these flowers because I don't know the language for the flowers, and I can't bring it there with me. So you can always sort of return to the world and, and reuse it, and that's obviously the whole Metroidvania part of the game. So we're gonna try to take this little bird thing here. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 oh actually, yeah, <laughs> you can, yeah, you might, we'll, we'll show that now. Uh, yeah, there's all these little secrets here. So, if you have harmonized with this uh, deer, you can also ride around with it. Oh, wow. Which makes you, you know, it's kind of like a, a secret thing you'll find out. We don't tell people directly because <laughs> if they find out by themselves, it becomes their discovery. It's a nice it, surprise. Yeah, it becomes yeah. much more interesting. And it's nothing you need to do to finish the game, but you can explore you it. You can do it. It helps you oh, go quicker through the level. I think if you sing at the same time, it'll run faster. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Even I didn't know that. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> I feel okay. like this is the kind of game that's going to have a lot of these little surprises and yeah. discoveries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now Alexander picked up a shard, uh, and this shard sort of powers the elder tree of the forest, uh, which means that you can run down there in this hub thing and um, power yourself up. Uh, so you can find these different shards that are hidden all around the world, um, and it will power the elder tree, and if you power it enough, it will give you new abilities. So I think we're going to learn climbing here, which oh. is a crucial um, part of the game. Wow. It's got such a soothing soundtrack. I can yeah. imagine like all this music being playing in your office while yeah. you guys are like... I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't play this music too much during work hours. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a sucker for a great, uh, great uh, video game soundtrack, though. I, uh, no, I so think you think you're gonna like this one. Yeah. For sure. So here, um, so now you actually learn how to climb trees, which is really, um, really, really useful in the game. So every time you see a tree like this, you can actually climb it, and it's very quickly. You just jump into it and just keep pressing the button, and it climbs up to the top. Um, so this now means that I can actually climb any kind of tree, get anywhere, and. It becomes it opens up the whole world once more. Now I'm seeing some of these other little rocks around here that have other icons that are not lit up yet. Yeah. So those are other That's abilities that you have to go out and find, and then come back to this portal, basically. Exactly. exactly yeah. yeah. And this one actually, this one is actually not uh, necessary to finish this sort of the game. This is some extra ones you can add to the game to be able to um, open up more of the secret areas in the world. Because the whole world is really connected in one giant map, and you can always return or go around as you want. We don't force anybody to do it. We want them to actually discover their own way and the way they want it. Like you can go around and play around with the little lizards and try to sing with them if you want to, but you can also, you know, go straight through and try to follow the, the story itself. But it's up to you basically. 
How many um, hours of gameplay are we looking at? Um, uh, if you just run right through it, it's probably like, you know, five, six hours, something like that. But if you go out and pick up all the shards, talk to all the different animals, learn all the different things there is to learn, then, um, yeah, here's, here she is. They're super cute. Yeah, actually. they're cutest. In Aww. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you uh, you uh, made the the Metroidvania comparison. Is this the kind of game where you're gonna have a completion percentage at the end of the game, or are you gonna have uh, different things that happen if you beat the game in a certain number of hours, or is it kind of a more singular experience? It's more singular experience, I would say. But um, um, and I don't want to dwell too much into it because there's a couple of secrets in there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's very open like that. You can you can play it. In the Couple of different ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think we're gonna. So I'm actually gonna. S we're gonna skip forward now. Okay. Uh, to a much harder part. Uh. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <Got this. sighs> if anybody on this stage can do this, it's probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If you mess up, they just know it's live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this is uh, a lot further into the game, and uh, like I said before, this we're jumping forward now, but this it's usually a fluid experience where you just walk through the world and you arrive at this giant deer. And, and the antagonists now, called the Silent Ones, we haven't seen much of them here in this demo, but they have captured this giant deer. And one thing you've learned now is, of course, cl tree climbing, but we have also learned how to uh, uh, sort oh. of glide like this. Oh, cool. And the combination of those two are super nice, you know, climbing a tree and then gliding from one tree to another. Oh. You feel like a little tiny squirrel jumping around, yeah. you know. <laughs> super nice. We have also learned now a new language, uh, which is the bird language. Oh. So so Faye can actually imitate a little bird. Really cute. And this one opens up these flower pots that has these kind of like um, kind of like a bomb in it. Um, bomb Classic seeds. flower. <laughs> <laughs> bomb seeds. So we're gonna try to open up this construction here. Like you could press the share button at any point oh, and get a new yeah. desktop wallpaper. <laughs> oh, not gonna fall down. I love <laughs> the aspect too, the silent ones, which I know the enemies. They're the ones who are like capturing all these like beautiful creatures that are singing and yeah. they're like these meanies that aren't have no voice. Yeah, uh, if we have time we might be able to show a little bit of that at the bottom down there. Oh yeah, they're they're lurking around down there, yeah. So um, as I told you before, you can climb any kind of tree and if you look at the giant deer, you see He's got trees. There's trees. So yeah. uh, and it's way too far away. So we can't actually communicate with it now, so we want to try to get closer up to its head. Um, so good luck getting up there. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this one flying. Bit of a Shadow of the Colossus vibe. Yeah. <laughs> the mini Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> mini one. <laughs> it's quite big. Wow, yep. look at oh, that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And that, sen that sense of scale is really nice, too. That, that that was one of the things that I really did like out of Shadow of the Colossus was the looking at these massive monsters. Um, you're giving that sense of scope and scale. Yeah, there should be some silent ones. Now, down here. Uh, he no I noticed oh, when he's, he's the kidding. bird, he now has like that yellow coloring on yep. it. So does that change now every time yeah. you have a different voice? Yeah, it's it's a way to basically show what kind of we're trying to build that into the whole ways of, of understanding what what language do we have right now. And watch out, we're gonna climb up there. Oh quickly. my god! <laughs> Start thinking about the here colors of the. <laughs> yeah, try to come forward. Go try to find a good tree. See one over there. Uh, yeah. And I love oh, um, tree. Mine it up. <laughs> Joel, our musicians worked a lot with also the music of. You'll probably notice as you climb higher and higher, the music intensifies and changes depending on where you are. And it's been put a lot of detail into that. Yeah. All right, well, I would love to sit here and watch this for hours because I think it's just so beautiful to look at. But we have so much here on the PlayStation Livecast. So I want to thank Klaus and Alex for joining us today. Thank you so much for bringing Bea with yeah. us. No and um, this is coming out uh, 2018? That's true. Yeah, early 2018. Yeah. Early 2018. Okay, yeah. look for Bea. All right, guys. That's uh, Like I said, I was just going to do a short little video on this. Uh, not not a whole hell of a lot to comment on. Uh, the presenters really did ask the questions, and they answered the stuff that I want, kind of wanted to comment on and make um, uh, assumptions about. But really, this game is just so pretty. So pretty. It sounds great. Um, we definitely expect the Let's Play when it comes out in, like they said, early 2018. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of look at Thea. Thea. That, well, however the hell it's pronounced. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, tomorrow we're hitting the ground running, really doing some some uploading, doing some 
doing some gaming and whatnot, getting back into the swing of things now that my exams are over. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. I love you guys. Until next time, I'm AJ Gales, the Seventh Third Gaming Channel. Facebook, Twitter, the website, minds.com. Links, all that stuff is in the description below. Like, comment. You're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to repeat myself. Until next time, guys. I'm out.